Hey, what's happening YouTube and welcome back to the Sal Patera channel and today we're going to talk about the Carnival Mardi Gras. No, not that Mardi Gras. If you're watching Wheel of Fortune tonight, you saw that Carnival announced a new name for their brand new XL class ship. There's going to be several of these ships made and the very first one is going to come out in 2020 and it's going to be named the Mardi Gras. And we'll come back and tell you all about it right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, before we get started, as always, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell notification. That way, when we upload a new video, YouTube, if you have notifications on, will send you a message letting you know we've uploaded a new video. Now, today we are going to talk about the brand new Carnival XL class cruise ship, particularly the very first one they're going to build. Now the XL, this first ship, they cut their first piece of metal back in mid-November, but they didn't really announce what the name will be. Well, if you are watching Wheel of Fortune tonight, of all places, Wheel of Fortune had two segments regarding Carnival Cruise Lines. The first one was their prize puzzle where every night they usually give away a trip. Today it was to Carnival. But then towards the end of the program, they showed a mock board of what Vanna turns the letters over and announced that Carnival Cruise Lines is going to be calling the brand new ship the Carnival Mardi Gras. Now, if you follow Carnival, if you like doing research on Carnival, let me give you a little background. 1972 is when Carnival started their very first ship, and it was also called the Mardi Gras. Since then, that ship is no longer in service with Carnival, so you can't ride it, but the new ship is going to pay homage to that by giving it the exact same name. But there are a lot of differences. First of all, the original Mardi Gras is a very small ship, where this one here, the new one, is going to be 180,000 gross tons, and also it will contain between 6,000 and 6,500 guests. So it's going to be a massive ship um, compared to the old Mardi Gras. Now to put this in a little bit of proportion, if you've been on Carnival's biggest ship so far, the Vista class, um, then you know that that ship itself is huge and that only holds 133,000 gross tons is how big that ship is. So in comparison, this is really a much, much larger ship. Now, one thing that we know that really hasn't made it out on the internet yet is in July, we interviewed one of the cruise directors, the Flying Scotsman. Then a year after that, we've got the XL which is going to be a completely different animal. The only tip bit of information I can give you on that is I believe they're going to have two casts on that ship because of the size of it. There's going to be an old school cast. I've, been, I've heard rumors. There's going to be an old school cast like Dancers and the Feathers and there's going to be a playlist cast. So there's going to be two venues. That's how big it is. And the staff members are going to have to be double the amount we have. So we have 13, just over 1,300 on here. So you're talking like nearly 3,000 staff. So crazy. And part of that, he told us a, a detail about the brand new ship, which is really cool. So this particular brand of ship, the XL, starting with the Mardi Gras, is going to actually have two different performing casts. So in the evening, they'll literally have two different shows that you can go to really breaking it up. I don't know, they didn't really say where it's going to have two big show lounges, but they're definitely going to have two completely separate showcasts. So that will be really cool. And the Mardi Gras, let's face it, is a great name. Uh, while they're going to be porting out of Port Canaveral in the year 2020 for its first voyages, it would have been really cool had they have come out of New Orleans with this ship, but who am I to, to criticize? The brand new ship looks awesome. The pictures and renderings I've seen absolutely look fantastic. Christine Duffy, the president of Carnival, did put out a statement today, and I'll read that to you. Our first ship, Mardi Gras, was a historic vessel, introducing a brand new style of cruising to the vacationing public. What better way to pay tribute to our company's nearly 50-year-old history of creating wonderful vacation memories than by naming this groundbreaking vessel after our original and beloved, quote, fun ship. The new Mardi Gras will follow the trailblazing lead of its predecessor, introducing features and technological innovations that have never been seen before on a cruise ship, while setting a new standard for seagoing vacations. So there you have it, guys. This is kind of a short video just to introduce you to the new Carnival Mardi Gras and announce the name of the Mardi Gras. Let me know what you think of the name. Did they do good by picking 
and using the name of their very first ship when you know their 50th anniversary is right around the corner or do you think it should have went with something else um, let me know in the comments down below again hit that subscribe button hit the little bell notification and i'll see you on your next vacation